everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melba. I'm Melba Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelba.com. And today I thought I would jump on and I'm going to play with the hap uh, no, the hippest hippos. I'm going to call them the happiest hippos because they make me happy when I look at them. But they're called hippest hippos. Um, so this stamp set is free during celebration um, with, in Canada, a $60 order or there are coordinating dies with it. So you can get the dies with another $60 order. So if you put a $120 order in, you could get these cute hippo stamp, the stamp set and the dies that coordinate. Today, I'm just playing with the, the stamp set and I'm gonna use the masking paper. I know I've played with masking paper before, but I'm going to create a card um, using the hippo, the hippo in the tutu, because that's my favorite, um, and the masking paper. All right, let's switch over to my desktop and we'll get started. All right, so isn't this, this is so cute. These hippos just make me smile. So I'm gonna use, I call this one Henrietta. I'm not sure why, but it seemed to, to go. Um, so there are really cute um, hippo stamps and then some adorable sentiments um, with this. And then I don't have the coordinating dies, but they're amazing dies. There is a, um, a wash bucket and some a snorkel and a mask and just it's uh, so adorable all right and then this is the masking paper i know i've talked about this before it comes in a package of 12 it is five by seven and let me just pull one out it is perfect it's all stuck together um when you want to do masking it's got a slit across the back so you can actually put your pieces across um, and then it tears off. Now I think I did a video just recently um, where I, I put a piece across. You do have to be a little careful with it because you don't want to be pressing down solid. Like you're not pressing this down to stick. Um, you just want to kind of press it lightly so that it sticks and then gently pull it off. Um, and if you find that the, the backing, the adhesive part of it, the sticky part, is too sticky, just take it and rub it or just kind of stick it to your pants or your shirt. It'll remove some of the stickiness. Um, that seems weird to say, but, but it does remove some of the stickiness. So I've already gone ahead and cut out um, Henrietta from my masking paper. So all you do is you stamp on your masking paper. Um, if you can get it across, and I just realized I stamped that on the back on the wrong side. Um, so you want to stamp it on, on the side, um, that you don't see the slit on, um, because now that when I pull this off, um, my image isn't going to be on the side that I'm actually going to be using. So we will use, uh, Henrietta that I've already cut out. But what I wanted to tell you about this is you can use your die to cut out the hippo or whatever your image is, if you've got dies but you want to actually cut it, hey Nancy, as close to the line as you, as you can get. So if you use your die to cut out the image, you wanna trim it. So I just find it easier to use my paper snips. And the reason you want to have it as close to the line is if you have too much of the, the paper showing, um, you will find that you get um, a halo. So you when you stamp your, um, your second image where you're masking, you won't get the lines kind of butting up against each other and you'll have a white halo around your image. So I just find it easier to cut these out. And when you've got them cut out, don't throw them away because the adhesive will stick. So I actually went ahead and cut out all three hippos and I just put these pieces of masking paper in my stamp case until such time that they aren't sticky anymore and then I just have to kind of start again. All right, so I've got my piece. I've got a piece of basic white, um, thick basic white cardstock that's four and a quarter by 11. I just grabbed this from my, um, I had this already cut. Um, my card is actually, oops, gonna go um, landscape, but it's gonna open this way just because that was the piece I have. And then I cut a piece of, this is sweet sorbet. I just love um, smoky slate and sweet sorbet uh, for, for the hippos. I don't know, it's kind of my favorite color combination. Um, 
And so this is the uh, in color, the 2022 to 24 in color uh, designer series paper. And then I got a piece of basic white cardstock. And I think this is, I did cut it smaller, three and a half by four and three quarters. And I cut it smaller because I want more of the designer series paper to show. All right, so when you're doing masking, I'm gonna use Memento because I am going to do some, some um, coloring. You always wanna start with the image that appears first. And so I'm gonna have Henrietta in the center, but I'm gonna have three, Henrietta and her two sisters. So I've got Henrietta in the middle. Now I'm gonna peel this backing off. So just take your, your piercing tool and get underneath this layer, this backing. And then this is gonna go on top of this Henrietta. And again, I'm not pressing that down because um, I don't want it to, to be fully adhered. I'm not adhering it. So I'm going to press. So I've got it. I'm going to have Henrietta. Um, let's see where I'm going. I don't want to overlap too much, but I'm going to do one there. And then when I peel this off, just gently lift this off. So you just, you don't want to tear, oopsie, toward the ear. There we go. If you do press it down too much. All right, so now I've got, actually I didn't need to do that, but I'm going to peel it off and that, that way it's not stuck too much because I'm going to stamp on the other side of Henrietta. And so I didn't need to peel her off. Let's get, so you want to line up your image overlapping the stamped image so you don't get showing there we go and now let's take this again and i'm going to kind of have a it's almost a chorus line like that i almost want them to be holding hands that was my thought with this now i can peel them off so now i've got three three of my hippos and I'm just going to do some coloring. So I've got, um, I brought in a uh, smoky slate because that's what my hippos are going to be. Let's put this in my stamp case. And then the two twos are going to be sweet sorbet. I brought in yellow because I wasn't sure. And I brought in some crumb cake because I'm going to maybe ground the hippos um, with some crumb cake. But let's start with Smoky Slate. And I'm just going to color the body of the hippos in Smoky Slate. And then we'll do the tutus in Sweet Sorbet. Ugh. Did you know that a, what I thought was a herd of hippos, it's not, it's actually a group of hippos is called a bloat of hippos, which I thought wasn't very nice. Um, I'm not sure why, but that's what it, when I looked it up to see what they were called, it doesn't seem very nice, <laughs> but that is what they're called. All right, there we go. So we're just going to color. Now you could spend lots of time if you want to do a lot of shading. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of color. Probably should be using um, the, uh, the fine tip brush on some of this because it's kind of small, tight tight quarters but we'll see how I do I know these hippos are so cute all 
but I don't know why. I, I seem to be using the, the tutu, the Henrietta with the tutu, just because. And now I never took ballet when I was a kid, but maybe I wanted to deep down. I don't even know that there was, I guess there was an option. I'm trying to think if I knew anybody to, that took ballet. Yeah, I did in school. Oops, I realized I missed a piece on this part of Henrietta. All right, there we go. I will go in and add a little bit of um, the dark smoky slate just to do give her a, a little bit of detail. definition. Right. Getting there. Make sure you get her ears. I guess I should have three names, but I don't have names for the others. Henrietta and her sisters. All right, so let's just go in and add a little bit of uh, dark. And then we'll just kind of do a little bit of blending. blend those lines out. I'm going a little fast here, so hopefully you guys can't see. I've kind of gone over the lines in a few places, but... I may do some more coloring afterwards, just because... All right, so now let's, let's do some of the tutu. So this is the light uh, sweet sorbet, just such a pretty color combination. said on a video or a live that I did once that they didn't like that color the sound that the uh, the uh, blends make on the paper all right let's just add a little bit of um, of the dark sweet sorbet Okay, now we better get a sentiment on here. So I'm gonna stamp this one that says, ah, oh, you're really the best. And I want to grab a scrap. I just wanna see how straight this is. Oh, pretty good. Sometimes when I get my labels on, I don't get them particularly straight, so hopefully. But I always try and test them. Oh, I didn't do very well on that. It's a little bit crooked, but that's all right. Okay. So let's take and adhere this. Isn't that cute? So we'll adhere this to this 
pretty designer series paper. I think I've used, I, I don't tend to use the designer series paper from the, the um, collections that Stampin' Up! I usually use the, the designer series paper from the, you know, the stamp sets or the, the suites more than I use the, the color collection ones, like the brights or the, the in colors. But I have to say, I think I really just really like the patterns this time. And so I'm finding that I'm using a lot um, of this designer series paper. Now, I had brought over the Daffodil Delight. These are the glossy dots. Maybe, maybe I'll add some yellow. Um, all right, well, first of all, while I'm debating about um, what I'm going to use for embellishments, let's stamp Henrietta on the inside just so we finish the inside of the card. Now, I also grabbed, this is the Sweet Sorbet Ribbon. So maybe let's tie a little bow with that. I need to put some kind of embellishment or ribbon on this. There we go. I love this woven ribbon that is the in colors. And what I really like about it is the fact that it, coordinates with all sorts of not just the in colors. So this is not quite the same color in my opinion as the sweet sorbet, although they call it sweet sorbet. Um, so you can use this and coordinate with all sorts of colors like for example the um, the uh, parakeet party goes really well with gray, um, granny apple green. So I'll just put that there. Uh, let's see, do I want to put yellow? Oh, let's maybe brighten it up with some yellow. There we go. That's a bright and cheery card. All right, so there's some more tips for masking paper um, and for masking so that you can get, you know, your overlapping images. This isn't overlapped all that much, but um, it's overlapped some so that they really look like they're holding hands as they're kind of dancing along. All right. Hopefully you'll give masking a try. If you don't have the masking paper, um, one, put it on your, uh, on your wish list, but you can use uh, post-it notes. You could use post-it note tape. Uh, you could use you could use washi tape if you want it. It had one that was wide enough, but there's lots of options. Thanks. Um, so, so give it a try, but the uh, masking paper that Stampin' Up! has brought out has just made it so much easier to do masking, in my opinion. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. I hope you join me again tomorrow at 12 noon Pacific. I'll be live with another project. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified when I go live. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Happy stamping. Bye.